I'm Bob Sainer and today we're looking at home charging for EVs. About 50% of EV charging takes place at home with, with the other 50% split roughly evenly between charging at the workplace and charging on the public network. You can use one of these, three pin plug, so you can put that into a regular socket, but it's not recommended. For start, it takes a long time. To give you 40 kilowatt hours of power, enough for about 150 miles worth of urban driving, that would take about 17 hours. And there's also potential safety issues. They, they, they draw 2.3 kilowatts of power, but to do that for 17 hours could potentially lead to safety issues. So most people with an EV opt to one of these instead. It's a home charge unit. Now these generally operate at seven kilowatts, uh, which means that's about three times as powerful as your domestic socket. So that would do the job. That would give you that, that 40 kilowatt hours of power, uh, about 150 miles worth of urban driving. That would take about six hours, so much more practical. Um, there is a lower power version that you can get a 3.6 kilowatt home charger. People generally get those installed if there's an issue with their wiring, their electricity supply at home that won't allow the seven kilowatt version. And a few people have something that's called three phase electricity at home, which would allow them to get a more powerful 22 kilowatt version. But very few people, to be honest, have that three phase electricity in a, in a domestic setting. So for most of us, usually these are seven kilowatts. One little caveat, if you're buying an older EV, then you may well find that the EV itself is limited to something below seven kilowatts. That's because when you use a home charger, or in fact any charger other than the rapids, the car itself is doing the hard work of converting the mains AC into the DC that the battery requires. And current, modern EVs can all charge at seven-ish or, or faster, but the older EVs, for example, the older Leaf, most of the old shape Leaf, they're, they're limited to charging at 3.6 kilowatts or 3.3 kilowatts. So even if you plugged it into a seven, it would only charge at the rate that the vehicle itself can handle. To get one of these home chargers installed, typically costs about 750 or 850 pounds, but there's a grant available of up to 350 pounds. So typically you're left paying four to 500 pounds yourself. That grant's called the Electric Vehicle Home Charge Scheme, and it's available to most people if, you're, if they have the primary use of an EV and they have off-street parking. Now, one of the big advantages of home charging, of course, is convenience. You know, it really is not, not much harder than plugging your phone in at night. The other big advantage is cost. Charging at home is the cheapest way to charge an EV. So in 2020, the average domestic tariff, prices we paid for our electricity, was 17.2 pence per kilowatt hour. For urban driving, that would translate into about five pence per mile fuel costs. However, most, most EV owners want to charge at night. That, that's very convenient. And all of the electricity suppliers uh, offer cheap nighttime electricity tariffs. Uh, typically something like five pence per kilowatt hour and if you do the sums on that one five pence per kilowatt hour equates to about one and a half pence per mile uh, and to put that in perspective 45 mpg at today's fuel prices in a petrol or diesel would equate to 14 pence per mile so you really are looking at reducing your fuel bill by in the order of 90 percent and if you want to go a stage further then how about a setup like this so as you can see here we've got solar pv and battery storage allowing you to charge your EV from electricity you've generated yourself.